So I threw together just sort of the basic outline here of uh, maybe how you might want to set your app up um, if, if people are a little confused. So here's how I did it. I created a routes.go file. Now this isn't done, this is just the, the sketch of it. Um, and I have a public folder for files, just like the assets we did before. And I have a slash, a slash login, and a slash logout. Um, and so the thing here, this handle index also handles if you go to a profile of a user, because it ends with a slash. So down here in handle index, um, somewhere. If it doesn't, if it's not slash, it goes to handle user profile, which then render a profile. So the idea here is I get their username out of the URL. So I do like slash whatever, I get whatever, and I look up their profile. If they don't have a profile, then I show a 404 error. That means that user doesn't exist. So I'm trying to look at tweets by a user that doesn't exist. So that's why I'm doing that. And then I haven't finished the showing hiding logout or bashing recent tweets, but the basic idea here is you'd add it to the model and then render it, okay? So render template, I threw in templates.go. I just parse all the templates in the templates folder and then render them. So the difference between this and what we've done before is I broke up my templates into two pieces. So index just has this. That gets put into this template and put right here, okay? So it's doing that code. Uh, but otherwise, these are just regular templates we've seen before. And like I said, they haven't been filled in. I haven't finished the example. I just, and so in sketching you the, how you might want to structure your code. Um, and what I did is I broke up routes and data, and so data is like doing the actual lookup from the data store. Uh, so these, so these uh, functions can stay pretty small, they don't have to be super big, uh, but I can get most of the work done. So I don't have to like, inside of my route, I don't have to go make a context to a query, all that stuff. I can do it here, and then in there I just call a function. It makes it a lot shorter. Um, but you can see what these look like and obviously there's going to be get tweets and get other stuff. Um, they're not done yet, but you can see how, how you might structure some of these, okay? So that's how I, I did this. So, uh, you know, get a profile by email. The idea of a profile is a way of associating a username with an email. So we get an email from the Google login that we are getting for free. Um, but we don't have the username, and so we're going to store it as a profile. Uh, in the data store. Um, so if I have an email, the profile, I just look it up by the email. If I have a username and I want a profile, then I have to do a query, okay? But otherwise, these are very similar. Every following the structure here. How is it that you break your, I, I struggle a little bit with breaking code up, like I just put things in one big old function and knowing how to like take some stuff and put it over here and what to ask for as arguments and yeah, I mean, the basic idea here is, is I have my routes, right? That code that would normally be inside of here, I just created a function that had the same code, and I passed in the request, and in this case, the username, and it returns two things, right? I mean, that's just basic function stuff. Okay, so get profile by username takes a request, and yeah. I thought it took a request and a respond. It takes a request. Well, I'm not doing the responding here. I do the responding down here. It just returns a profile. So the idea is that um, the code in the data part, uh, I know it's passing in the request, but it's not really using data from the request. It's doing that just to get the context. So actually, maybe it'd be better if it took the context. But uh, it shouldn't have HTTP stuff in it. It should have getting stuff out of the data store. Uh, this should have the HTTP stuff, right? So two different worlds, in my mind, I'm thinking. Oh, I do get URL stuff, I do render templates, but the data, oh, I'll call functioning with data. And then all the data in the data world, I'm thinking, oh, I need to make data store query, I need to filter, I need to, et cetera, but I'll just return a struct. I won't, I won't render a page. Those seem like very different things to me. And so that's why I broke up into two different functions. Um, does that make sense? So what, what are your page names? Uh, so I, I prefix my function names that are handling HTTP stuff with handle, but the page names are up here. They're handle index, handle login, handle logout. And they're all package names? 
Yeah, yeah, they're all under routes.go file. Um, and, and I just created a function to do the rendering of the template, just because there was a lot of, a lot of uh, boilerplate in there, a lot of code that was going to be repeated. Uh, but you can see it's the same stuff we've been doing. It's not different. It's just wrapped into a function to make it shorter. Um, basic, basically, you know, the, even this guy's kind of too long, but you don't want functions that are, say, 100 lines or a little longer. That's kind of too long for a single function. So if it starts to become that long, you have to think, how can I break this up to be easier? Uh, just because it's hard to reason about a, a, a function that's that long, right? Um, this, this is an example where sometimes, um, you, you know, we think, oh, programming is like a really, it takes a lot of uh, intelligence if you're really smart. It's actually kind of the opposite, right? It's, it's uh, I'm not trying to understand all this in my head. I'm trying to break it down into pieces that are easy to understand and just sort of glue them together. Um, and so sometimes it's better to have the, the tactic of not being too clever, being less clever, right? Being more, I'm just this and then this and then this and I'm done, right? And so, but you can use this. I, I'll push it up, but you can use this if you want. All right, thank you. To help. Uh, Don't look, look it over. Okay. I think what I've heard a good rule of thumb is that you can't see your entire function on one page if it's too big. Yeah. So yeah, so the only really messy part here is the login. That does get kind of complicated. And so it may not be the best place to start uh, because there's a lot of, there's states and transferring into the complicated. But, so I'll push that. 